How's it going, everybody? My name is Grovan, and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 3. We are in the middle of the Wasteland Survival Guide quest, and we're actually about to get to the final chapter, which gives us the final three tasks, and then we'll be done with this pretty big side quest. So let's talk to Myra, Moira Brown and get the final part of the Chapter 2 quest. Hey, don't mind the smell. Okay, the last task for this chapter is something about mole rats, right? Mole rats can burrow into almost anything and cause a lot of trouble. So I figured I'd make a chemical repellent stick for people to shoo them off. But I need it to be tested before I put the recipe to paper in the guide. So I need you to find some mole rats and test it out a bit. I'll test out the repellent for you. It'll be easy. One tap with the applicator and it overwhelms their senses with a sort of feel-bad sensation. Then they're gone before you know it. You could test it out on just a few mole ratties. But for real testing, try it on ten or more. There should be plenty in the tepid sewers downtown. Okay, so we've been given the repellent stick, which is actually a unique weapon. Go figure. Test the repellent stick on three mole rats. Optional tested on seven more, so ten in total. Let's go ahead and equip that stick. Uh, weapons and repellent stick. And one thing I love about Fallout 3 is that every single type of weapon has its own unique little Vault Boy icon. You can see there it's like a sinister looking Vault Boy with a stick that's glowing. So let's go ahead and put that in our melee slot and there we go. This is the repellent stick and you'll notice that it has like a green tint on the top. I love this thing. I love, I always love when I get this and it's funny what happens with this quest which we should see uh, very soon. Let's go into data, quests, yeah, okay, so this is where we want to we go, and it's actually right next to the Anchorage or Memorial, can't talk, where um, we place the observer on the Mirelurk clutch of eggs. And so now this is going to be the final one with this chapter, and I'm trying to think what the last chapter includes. I'm not going to talk about it, because I do need to remember to not spoil things. Who's this guy? Thanks for not attacking us. Most people don't tolerate ghouls. That's a ghoul, by the way. Whenever somebody looks like a walking zombie, they're known as a ghoul. Uh, what are you doing wandering around town here? We were on our way to Wonderworld, but we couldn't make it past the super mutants. So now we're just going to find our own place in the wasteland. So this should be, this should just be a random encounter. This guy's not important, but let's just run through all this stuff. I think, yeah, okay, so we can talk about Underworld, and he's going to give us a map marker for that. Underworld is a uh, another settlement filled with ghouls, and I always loved how it was called Underworld. Uh, why do we have to end the conversation like that? That's our only option. I don't have time to deal with this. Then leave. Yeah, I know. I, I wanted to be nicer to you, but that was my only option, buddy. Okay, so there's the actual Anchorage War Memorial. And uh, Anchorage is reference to Anchorage, Alaska, because there was a war there, which is actually one of the focuses of one of the DLCs. And it's one of my favorite DLCs. Okay. Think the, uh, yeah, there's a Mirelurk. Oh, God, that was so creepy just looking over the left there and seeing a Mirelurk, like, starting to hobble towards us. We're not even gonna bother with him. We're just gonna head inside to the tepid sewer. Now, you can't just kill these mole rats. You need to actually use the stick or it won't count. Hopefully, there are ten in here. I forget if there's enough or you have to find more to complete the optional part of this. But, uh, yeah, no point in being in sneak because we just need to kill these guys. Let's go ahead and search every nook and cranny until we find ten more rats. There's one! So let me see if it happens right off the bat, or if we actually need to... Yeah, okay. So if you'll notice, this thing shouldn't do a lot of damage, but after two swings, it just exploded its head. Look at that. There we go. Nice and gory. Alright, let's head this way. Ooh, inside we have a first aid box. This is one of the reasons you always want... To. I, I don't take Radex, by the way, just because it's a drug, I think, and if you take it, you can get addicted to it. Um, I might be wrong. I know there's like a couple of medical things that you can't get addicted to. We can't use this because we don't have 50 science, but that should be fine. I forget what exactly that does. Here's another one. So that satisfies the... Oh, right. Okay, so it activated a turret, I think. Or it might have acted, activated a, uh, a protector on oh, yeah, it is a turret. Okay. Ow! Who is that guy? What in the world? I don't remember a guy being down here. Who is this? Raider. Alright, let's bash him in the face with a stick. I don't think it does any damage, though, unless... Yeah, see. Even a critical strike does no damage. Alright, so let's switch to our pistol here. And we have no more AP, so we're gonna have to deal with the old-fashioned way. And we are taking quite a bit of damage. And is this thing attacking me? It sure is. Alright, so we need to take care of that turret too. You'll notice if we did have 50 science, we could have 
uh, deactivated that terminal or I think you can also make it attack your enemies so let's use a couple stim packs here wait till our AP is regenerated a little bit also this guy had an assault rifle which is what we want uh, yeah but we're running a little bit low on weight or carrying capacity here I guess we're running high all right so let's go over here and the thing about this being a machine obviously is it's gonna take quite more of a beating than an organic target but there we go and I think you can also loot it I forget I think it does have ammo but you might have to actually find where it explodes to I might be wrong all right let's switch back to the repellent stick let's go this way Anything in here? I do hear a bunch of uh, them muddling about. So there's one. That should be four. And that should be five. Alright, I hear another one. Six. Okay, so we're looking for four more mole rats to completely decimate with our magic stick. Let's head down this way. I don't think there's any other people in here other than that one raider. Mole rats. Anybody in here? No. Alright, so did we go down this way? This is where we came in from, I think. But I know there was another place that we could have gone. Let's see, what was that? Oh, that was the terminal that we passed. Okay, so I think... Yeah, we can go to the right over here. And I do hear another one in here. So this is seven. Let's see, anything in here? We don't want to miss any medical kits or first aid kits or whatever you want to call it. Because those always usually have stim packs. And stim packs are the life force of this game pretty much all right so that was six and you know what i sort of remember there only being six in here that might be a false memory but i think we've searched every nook and cranny of this place so far let's just make sure okay so nothing over there nothing over there oh we okay so we didn't go through that door yet i guess or did we i thought that we did yeah there's a dead yeah I don't know what I'm thinking, but there's another door over there. Maybe those rats were dead already? I don't know. Let's go inside here. More mole rats, please. There's a landmine right there. I see it. Nope. You're not going to get me. And there's a dude up there, which I guess... Yeah, that's a raider. Okay. So I don't think there's going to be any more mole rats down here, and I'm not sure if we should continue. Uh, let's go ahead and wait for this guy to get close to us. Oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, our sneak's too low. This guy has a combat shotgun, though, which is really good. Oh, his name's Roxol. He's uniquely named. I don't think I've ever seen this guy. All right. There we go. I should have shot the mine, and that would have been really cool, but I didn't notice it till. Okay. Disarmed. Disarmed. Disarmed, and disarmed. All right, I think that's all the mines. All right? Yes. All right, so rock salt. I don't remember this guy at all. Combat shotgun, we definitely want. Rock salt's key, shotgun, shell, and squirrel stew. Interesting. Another mine up here. Deactivate. Deactivate. Mm, deactivate. And of course, you can take all these mines. I just don't like taking them. I don't really like mines, and I never utilize them. Ammunition box is going to have a bunch of 556 rounds. Okay. There's another dude over there. We're going to wait for him to get to the door, and then we're going to sneak attack him. Actually, we can probably just sneak attack him right now. But let's go ahead and do that. Shoot him in the torso. Look at that sneak, a crack. sneak attack critical damage. Oh, wow. We're actually out of ammo now. Okay, let's switch to our sniper rifle and pop him. Oh, we can't. Item condition. Your weapon is poor condition. can do more damage if repaired you can repair items in your pit boy by visiting a vendor to repair it yourself you'll need to use parts from a similar weapon all right we're going to hold off on using the shotgun because i don't want it to break but we are going to switch to a hunting rifle which is our only option pretty much at this point in the ammunition box we got a bunch of sniper rifle ammo which is wonderful 32 which is i think the hunting rifle i don't usually use the hunting rifle ever i don't really like it um and a frag grenade all right not sure what's down that way let's go was that a grenade I guess not. Okay, let's go this way. 556 and another assault rifle. So it looks like we're in raider territory now. I think we're getting far away from what we where we want to be with the mole rats, but we'll just continue for a little bit just to see what this is all about. Oh my god! And that's what I love to see. Just an insta-kill headshot critical. Okay, let's see. What do you have, my friend? 556 rounds and an assault rifle. There's a safe over here, which we can use with rock salt's key. 10 millimeter rounds, Chinese pistol, some bottle caps, and some pre-war money. 
Not that great of a haul, but not going to complain. Assault rifle, we already have enough of those for the time being, and I think that's going to be it for this place. It'd be really nice to find some mole rats, because I think we need around four more. Anything in here? No. I wanted to do this section, though, because this is part of the explore exploration in Fallout 3. And this is what makes the game the game. So let's continue this way, where hopefully there will be more mole rats. I don't know. If not, we're going to have to find our own in the wasteland or something. Like I said, I think I might have... Ar wait, wait, wait. I definitely hear a mole rat. That might be a raider, but I'm pretty sure it's a mole rat because it's like some muddled walking. And there's a dead one, so that's a good sign. You'll also notice you get experience for every time you uh, disarm a mine or a trap. Okay, yes. A bunch of mole rats. Great. Bye-bye. Sayonara. Okay, just give me like yes okay so i think okay this is definitely gonna satisfy it and that should be it yes all right so we are done not sure what that way leads to but let's go this way i hear another mole rat oh actually in raiders all right we're gonna go the other way for now hopefully this place leads back to where we just were i don't know where this door is going to lead to but let's go ahead and open it nothing absolutely nothing all right, so this way might lead to an exit, and that will let us uh, go back to Megaton. So let's just con continue forward. All right. Hello there. Nope, not the assault rifle. I think if you shoot the weapons, it, like, disarms them. I like how I shot her three times in the head, but only the first shot did any damage. Okay, can we do one more shot? That would be great. Goodbye. I really want to get the bloody mess perk because it's awesome, and hopefully we will get it sooner or later. Alright. Shot him right in the nuts there. We're actually really, really low. We need to be careful here. Let's go ahead and... Really? Come on, it was 89%. Alright, yeah, we need to heal up. And we're running low on ammo, too, which is a common problem in Fallout 3. One more shot to do it. There we go. Alright. Yeah, when you're out of AP, you pretty much have to rely on good old classic video games. Uh, skill to be able to kill people. 556 and 10 millimeter round and a submachine gun which we don't have yet but I don't like using those because they use up your 10 millimeter rounds quite fast. We have an easy terminal here. Let's just see if we can do it really quickly. No, no, and no. So now if you do it four times and fail each and every time for those four times you're gonna be locked out and you need like the actual password to be able to do it um and i would go over how to actually do this but i don't even know for myself every time i think i know exactly how to do this it seems to change itself on me but basically you're trying to find the password and it will tell you how many letters in the word are correct but i never understood if it was in the correct uh position or if it was just how many letters are correct in the whole thing all right one more try and then we're not going to bother with this I don't think anything of worth is going to be in here anyways. Alright, screw it. If there is anything... Oh, we... Oh, okay. You can open it with rock salts key. Well, there you go. Anything in here? There is an ammunition box, which has three grenades. I don't like picking up grenades. And there is a med pack here, or first aid box. Bobby pin, purified water, and stim packs. Pretty much the only thing I always take when I come across a, uh, a med kit. Or a first aid pack, or whatever that was called. Alright. So we're still pretty low on health. Hopefully there's not going to be too many more raiders. Oh! No, no, no. <clears throat> there we go. Was that alive? No, that thing's dead. Alright. Hello there. Goodbye there. Alrighty. Not sure where this place is leading. This looks like an exit, though. And we've also leveled up. Level 6. Alright. Let's put Sneak all the way up to 91. Almost maxed. Let's see here. There's the bloody mess perk I was talking about. With bloody mess perk, characters and creatures you kill will often explode into a red, gut-ridden, eyeball-strewn paste. Fun! Oh, and you'll do 5% extra damage with all weapons. So it's not just uh, aesthetic. Gunslinger, Fortune Finder, Bloody Mess Scoundrel, Iron Fist Comprehension. That's that's okay. Child at Heart, Thief, Little Eager, Lady Killer, Intense Training, and Gun Nut, and Daddy's Boy. Let's go ahead and put it in intense training, which is going to allow us to put up one of our uh, 
attributes. You never want to put it to 10, and the reason for that is because you can find a bobblehead that will put it up to 10 for you. So it would be a waste to put agility up to 10. Let's go intelligence. I think intelligence is a really important thing to have. <laughs> Not just in life, but I mean in this game as well, because it does a lot of things for you. Alright, so don't tell me this is a dead end, please. Actually, this looks like the entrance. Hopefully we can activate this. Yes! And we'll end up in Georgetown, which if I remember right is synonymous with super mutants. I think as soon as we exit here we might see a bunch of super mut mutants, which we definitely want to avoid right now because super mutants are one of the strongest enemy types in this game. Hopefully we can wait. Oh god, it's not letting me wait. Enemies are nearby. Uh-oh. Okay, but it looks like we have some allies too. Who are those? Talon Company Merc. Uh-oh, those aren't allies I don't think which might be bad because they might turn on us as soon as they're done with these guys so we probably want to get as far away yeah and there's a super mutant right there I was right super mutant brute yeah those guys are really tough uh, so we want to get as far away from this as possible right now and hopefully be able to uh, fast travel to Megaton back to safety so please let me wait please for God's sakes let me wait don't make me deal with these talon mercs and these uh, super mutants oh god there are no enemies nearby. I mean, there are they are nearby over there, but okay, thank God. Um, yeah, that's really weird. I remember a lot of times. Sometimes you'll exit a uh, a metro station, and a bunch of Talon Company Mercs will be there, and they usually want to kill you. They usually have a note to kill you, and they're generally assholes. So I don't know why they didn't attack me. I think it may have been just because they were already in a scuffle with the Super Mutants. But yeah, Talon Company Mercs are not our friends, and I don't think there's any way to even like get in their faction or anything i think they're always just your enemies and super mutants are always your enemies well except for fox but uh we'll get to him when we get to him all right back into the crater side supply this is going to complete chapter two of the wasteland survival oh, I guide can't wait to hear how the repellent's working i tested it out and it works just fine lie i tested the mole repellent extensively there we go oh excellent Substantial field testing, precise reports, and such dedication. Oh, what more could I ask for in a research assistant? So, how did my chemical repellent work? Safe and clean like a charm, I'll bet. It appears that mole rats have a most fatal allergy to it, explosively so. I don't believe this is as non-lethal as you had expected, to put it lightly. Oh dear. All of them? Well, uh... I don't think I could water down the formula any further. With that much testing, I guess it's beyond correction. <sighs> eh, go ahead and keep it. Maybe you can find a nicer use for it, right? Oh, but for your trouble, uh, uh... Here, have the leftover chems from working on the repellent. I'm sure you can find some use for them. Okay, we've been given two jet, two psychos... And that's it, and we're also able to keep the stick. Not sure which one coincides with either the optional objective or whatever, but whatever. Is it just my imagination? Does that complete the second chapter? Of course, I worry I'll write with too much style and not enough substance. So keep bringing me back good research, and that won't be a problem. Here's your payment. I know ammo isn't really your style, but think of it as excellent bartering material. Now, on to the next chapter. And I accidentally skipped her first line of dialogue there. We've also been given 30 rounds of 32 caliber bullets, which will uh, go with our hunting rifle. It's funny, you know, after you play this game for so many times, you know exactly which ammo type goes with which, even if you don't know anything about guns. And these are actually the actual ammo types you can find in real life that go with those guns, so that's cool. I'm ready to start researching the last chapter. The last chapter is a bit more esoteric. It's about the survival of humanity as a whole and how to rebuild society. Deep stuff, huh? We need to know how large settlements are formed, how to harness the old technology, and I'll need you to get ancient history from a nearby library. We're in the last stretch now, so let's finish it up strong. What's first? So these are the last three things that we need to do for Moira Brown and the Wasteland Survival Guide quest. Researching local history, I know what that one is. Using old technology, I forget what that one is. I'm not really sure. I could check the library. Maybe someone's already written a book like yours. That's just a funny piece of dialogue. All right, let's go with researching local history. Sounds easy. Don't be so sure. You'd be surprised how confused people get, even about important things. In this case, I'm talking about Rivet City. 
It's the most successful survivor settlement around, but no one here really knows how it started. Of course, that's why it's important to know how a place like that succeeded. So I need you to go there and do some researching. So the thing is, we'll actually go to Rivet City as a part of the main quest very soon. Um, so we're probably going to hold off on this one. Uh, I don't think I want to do that one. Okay. So let's do using old technology sounds interesting. It does, doesn't it? I mostly just deal with it after it's junked. But a trader gave me this Robco processor widget. He said it's worth a fortune. According to him, if it's connected to the mainframe in the Robco factory, you could have access to all the robots you'd ever want. Now that would be a great example of how to harness technology, wouldn't it? I guess so. So just go in and connect the widget to the mainframe? I can do that. Yeah, you should just be able to plug it into the mainframe at the Robco production facility. It'll give you access to the robots and terminals. Okay, here. And be sure to keep an eye peeled for any other examples of how to make old technology work for you out there. Alright, so we've been given one of the final three tasks for this quest. And we need to go to the Rob Co. Production Factory, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to go ahead and take a nap in my bed to heal up all this damage that's been dealt. And then I will head over to the Rob Co. Facility. And then we'll continue this quest and in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Ravana, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please remember to like and share it wherever you can. It really helps me grow my channel. If you'd like to see more, go ahead and click subscribe on your screen. And if you want to see the next video in this series, click watch another. Thanks again, and I will see you in the next one.